Hey guys, as promised, here is a follow-up video to let you know how the rest of block one of the Evolve Art Training Program has been for me. For those of you who don't know, Evolve is an online art school, online art training program. They pretty much guarantee that by the end of their foundations course, which is made up of four blocks, you will be at a professional level of art making. <laughs> and then after that, they have a an advanced course which you can opt to take, and that's another four blocks as well. So for more detailed information on how it all works, do check out my previous video, um, which I'll link in the corner now, and that kind of runs you through what it's all about and how it all works and that kind of stuff. In that video, I showed you the first four exercises of block one, and I asked you guys if you would be interested in me completing the rest of block one and whether you'd be interested in seeing that. And a few of you said yes, you would. No one said no, so <laughs> I took that as a yes. And therefore, this video is a continuation in which I do complete the rest of block one, which is a further 15 exercises, I think. 15, 16 exercises. And this is no mean feat, guys. Some of these paintings, especially the ones later on, no, that's a lie, all of them, took me like three to four hours. And obviously, sometimes I, you know, I would have a break within that. Uh, there's some prep work, you know, setting up the paint and stuff. So this has been a lot of work to do this, this, uh, the rest of this block. But I was prepared to do it, A, because I obviously have a uh, an agreement with Evolve to do it. But secondly, I just really wanted to see where this was going to take me and how this was going to impact my sketching, you know, my ink and watercolour, my kind of loose-ish, more illustrative kind of work. So, I, you know, I thought it was going to be like quite an interesting, not experiment, but an interesting experience, that's the word, experience, just to see where this was going and like what I was going to, where I was going to be at the end of block one. So Evolve take their training very seriously and they are committed to getting the best out of you. And they give uh, you feedback on each assignment that you submit and they do that within 24 hours, usually way quicker actually. And then they unlock the next assignment and next set of videos for you to watch. So not all assignments have videos. Some of them is just like, right, carry on, you know, apply what we've talked about and just carry on and do the painting. And then you can also attend live video classes as well, um, classes and workshops clarifying maybe certain things like I watched and rewatched a separate video by Piper the head instructor which was separate to the course but it was an additional video showing how to do gradients because it's something I'm I sort of struggle with a bit more um so I watched and rewatched that one which was in addition to the course material and there's also study groups as well where people just hang out online just with you know with their videos on video cameras on and just work on their homework together. You don't have to be at the same stage in the course. It's literally just having company doing the same activity, which I, I think that's pretty nice. It's a nice, you know, way to have a bit of social time by doing something that's distance learning or, you know, something by yourself at home and having that connection still. Also, the Facebook group is really active as well. So, but yeah, this block one is all about getting you comfortable with seeing values in a certain way and also edges. So like, is it a hard edge or is it a gradient and how this helps to describe 3D objects on a 2D surface. So having had no formal art training myself, I really appreciated these lessons and, you know, I've thought a lot about how this is going to impact my sort of normal, I've put that in air quotes, normal everyday sketching practice. I also really appreciate that they, it's completely in grayscale and that's very purposeful and, um, you know, I won't go into it, but, you know, you might see some of these paintings and go, oh, well, they don't look the same values as the photographs. And there's like reasons behind that. And, you know, it's all part of the course. So, but yeah, it really teaches you to see things in a certain way. I just, I just never knew art could even be taught this way. It just blows my mind. Anyway, um, so in this first block, you're always using a line drawing that's provided. So it's printed on a piece of paper. And then you transfer this onto the canvas using some carbon paper. So it's great because you don't actually have to worry about drawing at this stage. You can just jump, jump right into painting and learning about values and edges and things. And if I understand correctly, I believe the founder of Evolve, uh, Kevin Murphy, 
he discovered this to be the best way to learn. So the next block, block two, will begin with drawing and learning to draw freehand, learning how to measure and all that kind of thing. So you kind of go from block one where you're painting and doing values to then doing learning about drawing and stuff like that. So I have found elements of these paintings quite challenging, which is good. I think I'm good at getting sort of sharp, clean edges and I feel like my application of of the oil paint is is pretty okay but I really do kind of struggle with getting those buttery smooth gradients that I've seen in other students work because you you know you can see a select amount of students work over it on, on the, uh, the the course platform and you know you see a variety of abilities but I'm just talking about the ones that like kind of blow my mind you know and I'm like how the hell do they do that <laughs> But however, the, the tutors have been patient with me, they've been directing me on what to do and how to improve on my next painting. And, you know, they'll kind of screenshot it and point to things and say this and that. They'll, they'll show me exactly what they mean, you know. And at any point, if I want to have a one-to-one -one call with anyone, I can jump on a call and chat with them in a more detailed way. So I will say that I think I have made a dramatic improvement over the past exercises and you know my gradients are starting to improve a bit. Uh, I can definitely see a jump from like the middle of, of the course to sort of now. It's just been a really interesting experience and you know maybe some of you look at this and be like oh this is just for people who want to learn oil painting and it's not. It's it's an overall art program it's art training it doesn't matter what medium you're using all the concepts can be applied to whatever you're doing so I know students have gone through this program and are now working in uh, digital illustration in computer games and films and that kind of thing some people have stuck with the oil painting and they do commissions either for, for portraits some people draw um, sorry paint pet portraits, that kind of thing. So yeah, there's just a, a wide kind of ranging application because this is just art, you know, this is art education. And I think what I've realised personally is that I actually really, I've always been curious. I've always been curious about traditional painting and uh, realism and that kind of thing. And I'm getting a taste for the fact that I could be able to do this, you know. I could, I'm now learning how I could go about painting realistic scenes. The question for me is, do I want to? And that's where I kind of, I start thinking about it a bit more. And it's like, I just don't think it's my bag, you know. And I really thought to myself, oh, I could really, you know, go through this program and maybe I could be a professional artist where I'm like taking commissions and doing these awesome portraits and whatnot. But it does take a lot of work, guys. This is not for the faint of heart producing the exceptional paintings I've seen um, it, it does take several hours and your attention to detail and that kind of thing and I think I've just realized that I just don't have <laughs> a very good attention span for rigorously trying to make things look realistic I actually really enjoy my splashy ink and watercolor sketchy style as much as I'll keep searching, keep experimenting, keep trying new things I think I've in terms of art making I think ink and watercolour sketching, and especially on location, it just really suits my personality. But anyway, I'm going off on a massive tangent. If you are interested in getting a proper art education, then check out Evolve Artist Training. It's like $2,000 for the foundations course, which you can pay monthly. And yes, you might recoil and be like, $2,000? But just think about how much money people spend on art school, like in real life. In, in real life, you know what I mean six figures you know people come out of art school with six figure debts especially in the US and I don't think they get this level of technical instruction on how to paint so I mean everywhere's different correct me if I'm wrong I might upset a few people by saying that but I'm just saying if you want to learn art theory application painting all the rules all that kind of stuff you want to learn it effectively with maximum support Sure, at a distance, online, but they're always the other end of a, of the of a video chat if you need them. They'll be there for you straight away. And a, a variety of students all around the world as well, all doing the same thing. I mean, I just, I actually think that's, it's awesome value. 
uh, if you're very serious about wanting to to learn art in a proper way. And, you know, they have people of all ages as well. So, you know, from high school age right up to 70s, 80s. So anyway, so I'll, I'll leave it there, guys. I've really enjoyed doing block one of Evolve. It's taught me so much, um, not only about painting and art theory and technicalities and whatnot, but also about myself. <laughs> as like, I don't know, as weird as that sounds, it has taught me a lot about myself. And um, yeah, I hope this has been like an interesting insight for you guys. I'm really proud of where I've got to just by the end of block one. Obviously, there's three more blocks in the foundation stage. And you also get all of the art materials as well. This is just the art materials for like block one. You get sent another box for uh, block three where I think you move into colour and stuff like that. So each box is worth 500 US dollars. So you get in two boxes for the foundation's course. So that's $1,000 of art materials. So that's 50% of the $2,000 of the course, you know. So anyway, I'm not here to sell this. I'm just showing you my experience. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I really like the people at Evolve. They are fantastic. And if this is something you're interested in, then I would highly recommend checking it out and hopping over to their website, having a chat with them and taking it further. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, I hope it was interesting to actually see a follow-up video on this and to see me get to the end of block one. And if you are interested in Evolve then obviously the link is in the description below. Do go and check it out. If you are interested in learning this kind of art to a professional level then I just really don't think you need to look any further to be honest with you. Yeah, that's, that's my video for today so I will see you guys in the next one.